Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bubbles here, and as you can see, I have hijacked Floyd to Boppin's computer, and I've done that so this way I can get my hands on Train Simulator. Now, I want to become a driver on the island of Sowas, because in fairness, my clown shows are kind of failing a little bit, and I might need a new job soon. But since I live on the island of Sowas, I could always get a job as an engine driver. However, I have absolutely no idea how to drive trains. So, I have hijacked Freud to bomb his computer, and I'm gonna figure out how to drive a train today using Train Simulator. I would buy this game for myself, but unfortunately my computer is complete rubbish, and this game isn't very well optimized for low-end computers. So, I have had to do this today. You may be wondering why am I recording a video? Well, this might be so you guys can get some more entertainment. Now, without further ado, let's get with our first train of the day! And here we are in the first train of the day. Now, I decided to choose something that was fast, because I am actually a bit of a fan of these high-speed trains. And uh, I actually am not quite sure what this one is. I think it's a class 390 or class 389 or something. I'm not sure. But I looked at all the liveries for it. And uh, I decided to choose this one. Because I think this livery is actually realistic. I'm not actually entirely sure which trains run this route. But I'm pretty sure that there's a kind of train that runs in this livery on this route. I'm not sure if this is it. But we're going to go along with it anyway. This is still an express train so this could be very fast. Now. Uh, I did do a little bit of research about this game on how to actually play it. And apparently, before you get going, you have to put this into the 1% position. Okay, I think that's correct. And we have this big red handle thingy that we have to move upward. And I think we just put it over... Yeah, there we go! Look, everybody! I'm driving a train! Yeah! Power! Alright. Now, uh, these, there's these other controls here, but I'm not sure if we have to really worry about those for now. Okay, and, um, yeah, so as I said, I did do some research up to this game beforehand, and now I know there's probably some ways with the keyboard. Uh, let's just say I did do some kind of bit of research with the keyboard controls, but, uh, the, the keyboard controls for the controls here, as in the, the, uh, the controls that you have to drive the train, I think those are a little bit advanced for me. But I think at least the camera controls, I can get a hold of this. Yeah, it's actually pretty easy. I think I can get a hold of the camera controls because, um, it allows me to try and, uh, just move the camera about. So at least I can move the camera about without messing up the train too much. Alright! Yeah, look at that Robbie train! Now it looks like I'm going to the ET. We're 14 miles away from the decision called Rugby. Okay, now we're 14 miles away, so let's just go there and see what happens! This section here looks kind of interesting. It looks like there's these things called interlockings. Well, I should know about interlockings from tra tra traveling on the Northwestern Railway back on the island of Sowas. So, although, this, um, oh, what was that beep? Uh, I'm not sure what that beep is for. I think it's because of this thing called AWS, or the automatic warning system. I'm not sure about that because we don't have that back on the island of Sowas. This route, though, actually looks kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of the express line back on the island of Sowas. Oh, well, look at that. We're going so much faster than Grindrin. I think Grindrin can only do about like 100 miles per hour or something. We're going 123 miles per hour. So if Grindrin were to have a race with this train, it would probably lose. Speeding? What do you mean I'm speeding? The speed limit is 125 miles. Oh, wait. Hang on. What? Oh. Apparently the speed limit is 125 miles per hour. Ah, we'll just ignore that. I've never heard of these things called speed limits on the island of Sowas. So I am just going to go as fast as I can to get to the stage as fast as I can. See, we're going 142 miles per hour, but it doesn't look like that we're going to derail anytime soon. So we'll be absolutely fine. Now here's something that I'm going to do for fun. Apparently if we press 4, yeah, look at that! We get a fly-by view! And we can pull the horn! Oh yes, look at how fast we're going! This train looks amazing! The fact controllers should consider investing into trains like this for the other Sowas. Look at how fast we're going! This would speed up time so much back at the island of Sowas! The fact controllers should totally consider investing into trains like this! This always was the island of the no wish of where we go so much faster. 
Yeah! Well, I guess there's not much else to do here apart from look at the scenery and look at our train. I have to say, this train, I'm not sure what it's called, and I'm not sure if it actually wore this livery either, as there's apparently this thing in transfer called reskins, and if I to bop it, apparently just download lots of reskins, more reskins than I can actually handle for this massive train to be a later collection! So I decided to try this one out because it just looked cool. And I think that the, the this livery did run on this route that I'm driving on right now. Oh. Also, I did hear that apparently there is a better version of this train available that Freud to Bob and already owns. Which seems to be a version of this train that have been that has been enhanced by these guys called uh Armstrong Power Powers or something. I have no idea who those guys are, but apparently they make this thing's called enhancement packs for trades that are no good. However, I decided to go with an older version of this train because the, the, this new delivery wasn't available for the, the new one. And I think it looks cool. And I also tried to be so realistic with this train journey thing imaging. Because after all, this train, or this game is called Train Simulator. So I'm guessing that we're trying to make the experience to be as realistic as possible! Okay, according to the distance and destination, we're two miles and a third away. Um, but to, like, I'm not gonna to worry, I'm not gonna worry much about that. Um, in fact, actually, I don't think that we actually have to stop that station, do we? Or is that just a fire marker? That's another thing that I heard about this game. Apparently, in some scenarios, there is the- Oh, wait, what's that? Uh, wait, wait, what do I do? Um, oh no! The train is going to emergency! What's this? I've never... What? Okay, I thought there was some reason to do AWS, but I actually have no idea what the AWS does. What's this? Our train's been going into emergency break. Well, um, I was going to not stop at the station, but it looks like that we're going to stop at the station anyway. Um, are we? Nah. There's no way we can do that. Um... Well, that zone is getting a little bit annoying, so I'm just going to just stay out here for a bit. Well, we can't hear any of the interior sounds, which is nice. This is getting a little bit annoying, I will say myself. Now, the ETA is... A, I mean, not the ETA. No, that's the, uh, that's the relative destination. No, the AWS, it's kind of silly. Well, uh, here's the station. Hello, station! We're not actually going to stop here. Because that'd be... Well, okay, maybe we are going to stop here because... This is a bit ridiculous. Well, uh, maybe this isn't quite what I expected to plan. So, uh, I'm just going to just exit out of this and go on to something else. Okay, so I decided to start with a British route because I thought it would relate to the island of Sowas. However, it seems as if that that Britain isn't exactly the same thing as the island of Sowas. So, I decided to try something else. Instead, we have moved over to the United States of America. And today, we're going to be driving this. It's a New Jersey Transit, um, TP40PH-2B. I have no idea about this locomotive. But either way, we're going to try it out today. Also, apparently, there's these things called a headlight. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, so headlight is a thing. I'm pretty sure it already had turned on anyway back when I was in Britain. Um, okay. So, we got to get to Woodbridge. So, uh, I'm pretty sure from here... Oh, now we did put the, the brake is available. Okay, so we're going to put that all the way to release. Okay. Then we're going to put the throttle, I mean, the reverse to the forward, and then throttle it to max power. Yeah! Okay, we're off to a bit of a slower start, but uh, we're fine. Also, I think we also have to do this. Oh, yeah! Also, let's the horn. That's so brilliant. It's better than most of the uh, the horns that have bells right back on the app of Soas. Right, let's go! Oh, oh, it looks like they were coming up on a station. Although it doesn't look like that, we have to stop here. Although I'm pretty sure that what they do in America is that they do this before coming to the station. Yeah, let's make some noise! Ah! 
Oh, yes! You know... Oh, let's open the bell. There we go. Yo, I'm actually quite pleased with the way that this world looks and stuff. You know, I might go out to go on vacation here someday. Oh, there's another train there. Hello! My missile bubbles are driving here in train simulator. Eh, uh, you're not very talkative. Whatever. Anyway, oh, it looks like that we're already coming up on another station. That's what's called Elizabeth. What, you mean this is Elizabeth and I guess the other thing was called North Elizabeth. Anyway, here we come! Yeah! Let's do a flyby view for, for the for the laws. Oh, what are the floor? Come on! Well, I guess we'll have to go with this. Yeah! Look at the speed and power! That's actually quite cool if I'm honest. Also, I just noticed that apparently there's a with a simple a 55 mile per hour speed limit. Well, um, uh, we're gonna try to ignore speed limits for today. Oh dear, that was a bit of a jolt to the track. That will be fine. In fact, let's have another fun by view for the for fun. All right, I want to get next to the train. Yeah. I just realized there's this bridge that doesn't look like there's any tracks on it. Huh. That's weird. Anyway, look at how fast we're going. 95 miles per hour. Well, this isn't as fast. As that um that other train that we were doing about the previous route, it's still pretty fast. Like I'd say it might be fast enough that it could still replace Grid Jun on the Express. Well, I mean maybe, okay, maybe not I'll do that, but at least I have another express engine. Oh, station! Yeah Okay, kind of a bit late for that, but th that works, I suppose. 100 miles per hour, I just realized, oh, yes. You know, there's actually quite a lot of interesting things to have about. Look at all these tracks. Yeah, I know I'm just saying stuff about, but this is actually quite cool. I've been trying to stay inside the camp for a bit to give us the, the prime trace, or give myself the prime trace experience, but that's interesting. Whoa, there's another train there. Hello! Oh, it's actually coming. Let's start from inside the camp this time. Oh, yeah. That horn. It sounds so amazing! Sounds better than most of the horns I've heard in my life. Yeah! Oh yeah! What could possibly go wrong on this journey? I mean, we're going full speed, but you know, what's the point of speed limits where there's not really much of a chance of derailing? I mean, it's not like you're gonna derail any bit. Oh wait, what's it? Oh no! Ah! Oh no! I ain't crooked the train! Um, yeah. Good thing I know about this flyover caribou, but. Oh dear! Uh. Well, we've sunk to the ground and we've. We, we, uh. We destroyed the train! Oh dear! Well, um. Good thing that this is Train Simulator, or that could have had much worse results. Well, okay, maybe American trains aren't really my thing either. Let's try something else. Okay, so, um, after our bit of a disaster in the past two countries, we have now moved on to German land. Oh, yes. Now, I don't actually know that much about German land, but either way, we have a super high speed train. Oh yes! Now, this route is called Frankfurt High Speed. So we think that a route called Frankfurt High Speed would be so high speed, to the point where there are very few corners. Which means that we shouldn't derail because of a AWS thingy, or 
because of a sharp corner. So with that being said, let's once again put our training position and let's go! Power! Come on, there we go. Uh, huh? Why are we moving? Alright, come on! Okay, headlights! I forgot to turn those on! There we go! Ooh, there's another train there! That looks like me! That I chose the more modern version of the other train! Yes, this is the IC 3.5 as opposed to the IC 3! Okay, let's go! Also, just listen to how cool the Triton motors sound on this train. They're amazing! You know, there are some trains with some really amazing sounds I've discovered today. I guess that's what happens when you drive modern trains as opposed to those steam engines back on the island of Solwas. And especially, just look at how cool this train looks! It's so modern, and fast, and amazing! Let's see how fast we can go today! Ooh, there's a slower commuter train over there! But you're too slow! I am a high-speed train! Yeah, see what I mean about this? Well, look at how just... fast it is! And we're going even faster soon, I hope! Okay, for a road that's called Frankfurt High Speed, this curve here looks a little bit sharp for how fast we're going. Uh, well, let's hope it doesn't mean much in the long run. Though this road kind of reminds me of some of the, uh, some of the high-speed roads that they have here in Europe. Oh, yes. Station! And what is... Interesting to say the least. And there's another train there. And it's, it's not really going fast, is it? But look at how fast we're going. Let's do a flyby view just to see how fast we're going. Come on. Put me on the floor. Yeah, that's something that I don't really like much about this flyby camera. It doesn't really put you on the floor very much, which is kind of stupid. Alright, fine. No flyby view first, I guess. Unless we do this. Oh yes, this train is absolutely amazing! There's another station here! I'm not sure if it's a requirement to blow your horn every single station, but I'm gonna do it anyway just in case. Ooh, it looks up on the HUD. Apparently we're coming up to this thing called Friedrichstall. Yeah, German names are kind of weird. Anyway, we're coming up on the station. You know what that means? Yeah! Ooh, there's a freight train there. Hmm. Didn't know they had freight trains at high speed routes. I thought that these high speed routes were just restricted to high speed trains like the one that I'm driving. It's heard a beep. Oh, that wasn't the AWS. I don't think there's anything that was in Germany either. Ooh, this curve here might be a little bit dangerous. Um. Eh, yeah, we'll be fine. Also, I've noticed the frame rate of this game has kind of dropped a little bit. Um. I mean, I know I said this game wasn't very well optimized, but I'm playing this game now on Photo Pop. It's fairly high power computer and yet I'm still getting lag issues or we're still getting lag issues I guess I'm not sure why that's the case and I guess this game is just this isn't very well optimized well there's not too much to say to be honest I mean this round it's kind of nice and I still wouldn't go fast but there's not really much to see oh dear this curve is very uh, sharp well it yeah, will be fine I mean this is this is this route's called Frank for high speed, therefore we should be able to go fast. I mean, yeah, it says we're speeding, but... Nah, I don't care about speed limits for now, I guess. You know, I can watch you about speed limits when I get to... When I get my engine driving license back on the end of Solus. I mean, um... Speed limits, they're... I mean, some say speed limits are just recommendations. It looks like the run is starting to even out a bit. 
That's nice. At least the passengers won't be jolted around so much. You know, now that we're in more of like a country area, and there isn't so much stuff, this actually feels even more like a true high-speed line in Europe. Yeah. Well, it looks up on the marker, we might be passing through a station called Hockenheim. You know, I actually heard about Hockenheim because Frontal Bobbin is actually quite a big racing fan, and apparently there's the state, there's a racetrack around here somewhere. You know, I'm not the biggest racing fan out there, but I might just watch a race in Hockenheim. It could be interesting. Well, I've been going very fast through what seems like I just in this countryside. What is wrong with this bridge? That bridge doesn't look right at all. <sighs> Good job, Dovetail Games. Anyway, as I said, they're just, they're honestly, there's some bugs to talk about, to be honest. I'm just really going as fast as I can. I guess this is what Gretchen must feel when he's doing the express on the island of Soas. Okay, it seems, it feels like the track is getting a little bit tighter. Uh, well, I guess as long as they don't derail, they will be more than fine. I mean, I'm pretty sure they go. Oh, what the? What? What is going on? Uh. I have no words for what just happened. So I had to get back to the main menu as quickly as possible because I heard that there's weird stuff that happens with the game. If you don't click the OK, we get the play over here, but what was that? I was going so fast and the train just toppled over the tunnel and then it shot itself into space. Uh, I don't understand what just happened there, but I think that the speeding thing has been a warning to us this whole time to tell us to not break the speed limits. I initially went to this thought that that speed limits were just recommendations and we just went faster and I didn't think it was such a big thing but I think we need to drive a little bit more properly and actually take in the speed limits and I just realized I haven't used the brakes at all. I think we need to start using the brakes in this because and the fact that we're not using the brakes, I think it's leading us to our downfalls. I mean, we failed three times, so... And... Uh, so, what are you doing? I, whatever, I don't think that's important for us. Anyway, um... I think we also need to get to know how to use the, the, the AWS, so... How about this? I'm gonna do a little bit of research, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna do this right. We're gonna put this right, and we're gonna become a proper train driver today in Train Simulator and then maybe the Fat Controller will give me the license to drive trains on the island of Solus. Okay, it's time to put things right. So this time, we're going to drive the train this time just a little bit better. I've done a little bit of research to find out more about this AWS thing and apparently when this becomes illuminated you have to click on it to cancel the, well, I said cancel, well, yeah, pretty much cancel the AWS, and then the train will apply it to its emergency brakes. What they are also going to do is actually stick to the speed limit. I did a little bit more research, and apparently, this number down here is the speed limit of the line. And the bits, the yellow bits with the number that was showing up on the HUD is when the speed limit changes. So you got to make sure that we meet that speed limit before we get to the speed sign and then we will have completed a successful journey so without further ado let's get to the speed limit and well do this properly I suppose okay so we're going pretty fast now we're approaching the 125 mile per hour speed limit so I'm going to now lay off the fall bit oh dear no nope, don't speed come on uh there we go punch a little bit of break there we go see Okay, so it turns out that speed limits aren't exactly just recommendations. It turns out that speed limits actually exist for a reason. And uh, I guess that reason is just so there isn't some accidents. There we go. So we're doing 124 miles per hour, which is absolutely fine. See, I'm becoming a better train driver already. 
I am now not speeding and actually keeping the train at a good speed. Okay, looks like we accelerate just a little bit, so it looks like I'm, I might have to just go backwards and forwards and follow a little bit, just so we don't speed too much, and then we'll be fine. There we go. Okay. So I guess I'll just keep doing this until we're about to get to our final destination. And it turns out that we are actually supposed to stop being at what's called Wrong Bay Platform 4. Yeah, so the speed of our train is stopped to 122 miles per hour. You know, that reminds me. I hear that there's also this thing called cruise control in modern day trains. That would be nice, because apparently cruise control keeps a train at a certain speed. Um, apparently there is there is cruise control in this train, but I guess cruise control is only available in the newer version of this train. Since this train is older, it doesn't have the cruise control feature, so it looks like I'm going to have to drive this thing completely manually. Ugh, you know, I'm with Frontal Bob on this one. I'm not a big fan of manual labor. Well, there really isn't too much to say, I guess, for now. I mean, we're driving along quite nicely. Although this is a little bit fun, I mean, there isn't much to say when you're being a train driver, but at least it's fun, I guess, when you're not talking and you're admiring the scenery. The scenery on this one is actually quite cool. Oh, there's a barge! Hey, I've seen some stuff like that, or the bars like that, back in the island of Solus. Hmm. Then again, this is in Britain, which is very close to the island of Solus. In fact, there's even a bridge that... Uh, crosses, uh, the, uh, crosses the water between the end of Solus and what they call the mainland, which, in other words, is known as Britain. Okay, another thing to note, um, apparently this, this is the destination so tells us how close we are to our destination, and we're supposed to use that to get an idea of what we need to start breaking, so this way we can stop at the station successfully. So let's do it this time without having some Weird issue. Oh, there's the AWS, and we're coming up on Rugby, so it's time to start slowing down. Okay, let's apply the brakes. Um, okay, so no need to make sure that we stop in time, but this is a modern train. And I hear that most modern trains have better brakes than some of the other trains. Yeah, there we go. We're easing it down. It seems the speed limit doesn't actually go any lower when you're coming to Rugby, so you pretty much so you pretty much have to measure the distance from the station and then know how hard to apply the brakes and when to start applying the brakes as well. But since we're closing it in rugby, we're now easing down the train to a nice stop and eventually we'll be at rugby station. So let's make sure they're not going too fast. So I'm gonna try to approach station at about 30 miles per hour I think the, I'm not sure what the regulations for pulling into the platforms are at certain speeds from country to country. Although I think that Vointo Bobbin usually approaches the station coming into it at 30 miles per hour anyway. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, we might be going a little bit faster, but the brakes of the turn are quite good. And it looks like that we have quite a bit to slow down anyway, which will, which hopefully will be just fine. There we go. Okay, we're easing it down. It seems that there's a red signal up in front of us, but that doesn't really matter for us considering the fact that we're going to be stopping at the station anyway. Look at that! There we go! I've become a much better driver now that, I'm, now that I actually know what I'm doing. We might also be able to... Yeah, there we go. Our entire train is now on the platform. Actually, I don't even need to do much more. Here we go. We're coming to a nice dental stop. Look at that! And hey, the thing's going to cross now. Oh, I forgot to turn on my headlights. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, wow. This is only a test run anyway. Oh, it's Or this is like a thingy one anyway. And don't worry, I'll make sure I do that when we go to America. But there we go! We did it! We completed the first journey! Okay, so we're back in the United States of America. Because now that I have mastered driving British trains, it's time for me to master driving an American train. So, let's release the brakes this time. And it's something does properly. Oh yes. I broke the revs. There we go. Also, I just noticed if you look to our left, there's this uh hill thing. That just looks kind of interesting. Look at that. 
Oh, okay, so we're coming by a 65 mile per hour speed limit. I didn't actually see any of these speed limit signs when I was back in Britain. So, well, this will give us the opportunity to figure out how to slow down for speed limit signs. And also, it seems the street doesn't have a combined braking for all that they call it, uh, like the previous year that we just drove. So, um, we're having to do this, which is fine. I think they have this back on hand of so we're sitting with back in steam engines. So it's nice to know how to use a brake lever and a throttle lever as well, as they're completely separated in this train and pretty much every steam engine as well. Okay, we're gonna go to the brakes a little bit too hard, so I'm gonna bring up the throttle just a little bit so we can get back up to the speed limits. Because it's important to keep up with the speed as much as possible, so this way, if you're on a timetable run, you don't run too late. And, you know, timetables aren't any different. Back on the island of Solus, is there another railroads or railways from around the world? Oh, and it seems now the speed limit is 75, we can accelerate back up again. Yes! I like going fast though, if I'm honest. Okay, so once again, we're about to be speed so I'm gonna ease on the throttle a bit. Um, so we don't break the speed limit. Okay, we wanna let the breast build down a bit. And get back on the throttle just a little bit. Oh, nope. Okay. Alright, come on. Uh. Alright, I guess we're gonna be on auto for a little while. Oh, there we go. Now I can go on to notch one. Okay, now notch two. There we go. That will do. Oh, I just realized. Um, so I was just uh, been mining the scenery for a bit, and it seems that the speed limit is about to go down to 20 miles per hour. Well, let's get on the brakes. You know, the brakes are most modern trains are actually quite good. I mean, that's the point of brakes, so they can slow the train down. But uh, I um. Yeah. Okay, so let's use our brakes to slow down, and this is the bit where we crashed before. So let's not make the same mistake this time. Okay, we can release the brake a little bit. And let's put the brakes back on, come on. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so we should have a little bit of brake pressure, because this is downhill. And I do know how gravity works. As I discovered when I do my, uh, my clown shows. There we go. See? I'm a good train driver now. Oh, yes. Just making sure. Yeah, we're fine. This is awfully slow though, but I guess because it's for a reason. Oh there, don't speak, come on. Uh, there we go. But I think we've all learned today that speed limits do indeed exist for a reason. And we must follow them and respect them. Otherwise, we could have some pretty big accidents. As we've seen today. I mean, we had a train literally fly up into the air. I guess it was just so angry about just crashing or something. I don't know. The fists in this game are kind of funny, actually. <laughs> well, while speed limits do exist for a reason, at least some speed limits allow us to do this. Oh, yeah! Oh yes, let's build the revs! You know, one thing that I've come to realize is that, um, it seems that turn off has put us on, like, what's more of a branch line? Um, I mean, this route I selected is called the North Jersey Coastline. Um, I guess now we're supposed to go down the coast, because it seemed that before we were on, um, what's a higher, what looked like a higher speed line than this? I guess this is sort of like a branch line or something. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I might do some research into this though, because this is actually kind of interesting. Well, we're going pretty fast, and I like how fast we're going, but we're coming up to the next station. Let's start applying the brakes so we can actually stop here. Because you don't mind, this is a uh, 
this is how we complete this journey. So let's ease it down. Okay, so I think I could pull the brakes maybe a little bit too hard as I just decided to take off the brakes for a little bit so we can so we can pull it here at a pretty good speed. Oh well, also. Yeah! Alright, let's come to a stop here at Woodbridge. Oh I don't quite see any wood bridges around here though, so I guess it's just the name of the station. Okay, let's get the whole train to the platform. And Okay. Let's bring it to a complete stop. And there we go! I've mastered British trains! And now I've mastered American trains! Yes! I'm actually getting somewhere now. Alright, so now we're back in Germany. It's time to figure out how to drive German trains. Now, okay, lights. Gotta mention that's important. Because, yeah, well, we gotta mention that because that's important. Now, it seems this one has the same driving style as the engine that we just drove. For the most part. Uh, there we go. All right. Now we're moving. Oh, also I decided to choose a slightly shorter route than the one I did before because the one that I chose before was a little bit long, and I only need to learn how to do this section anyway. So let's go. Okay, you gotta make sure I don't speed. Oh, the speed is pretty low here to start with. Yes. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> I just realized the speed was so low, but okay then. All right, the speed level is about to rise. All right, put the power down. Yes. Okay, well it seems to go for a bit because the speed limit here is so 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, I want to go fast. Oh well, looks like we'll be able to go a bit faster soon. And power. <laughs> All right, let's see if this train. Can go fast. Well, of course it can go fast as we proved out before, but let's see if it can still go fast even with the speed limits. Remember to use the throttle when we come up to the speed limits. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was a gradient. Um, whoa, oh well. Plenty of pinballs for problems, bro. This build, so it's fine. Anyway, two words coming up, so. Power! Yeah! And of course, once again, remember to drop the power a bit when you come up to the speed limit. There we go. You know, this part of the road is exactly the fastest there is. I mean,. The speed is 200 kilometers per hour, which is still kind of fast, but it's not really as fast as I would expect. And I can't get a fly by view. <laughs> well, there really isn't much to say about this route. I mean, it's it's fast. It's German. Not a whole lot to say. I. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so I'm just nosing the hunt. The speed limit is about to go up to 280 kilometers per hour. Now that is what I call fast. Well, it comes to 280. You know what that means? Come on. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I watched quite a bit of Top Gear, actually. The very funny series. Well, here we are. We made it to 280 kilometers per hour. The fastest that we've gone today. Well, I was having fun doing 280 kilometers per hour, but looks like we have to slow down. Oh, well. We know what happened last time. We don't want to happen again this time. Oh, and apparently the game hasn't loaded very well. Uh, yeah, I guess Tracer isn't the best game 
Okay, we gotta come on. Slow down. Okay, well we're gonna speak for a little bit, but I think that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there's a one ninety come way up. Um, right. Time to slow down for the one ninety, I guess. You know, I'm actually starting to like modern trains, though. Especially this one. All right, come on. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll make it to Mannheim. It's called without any crashes. Well, I just noticed the canyon areas disappeared. Well, I know that's not realistic. Maybe this game isn't very realistic at all, actually. I mean, it's called Tracement or something. I think that's, there'd be some realism. Oh, look at that. The bridge is weird. Uh, oh, well. The only thing that really matters at this point, anyway, is the driving experience. And I can't really say that back on the end of Soul was where things actually load into existence. I'll have a proper career in train driving. <laughs> oh, this game. Okay, we gotta slow down by a lot, actually. Oh, dear. Um. Alright, come on. Got the brakes. I wanna go to emergency. Okay, we're fine. Okay, maybe I need to get used to get the brakes a little bit sooner for the speed limit changes, but that's fine. I can master that. Eventually. You know, I'm pretty sure that there's some stuff here that's supposed to load in, but uh... I guess this game just is taking a bit of a dump today or something, I don't know. Okay, the gradient is spinning out some... Uh, the download gradient is spinning out some bits, we're gonna have to slow down. And there's also the speed limit that we're gonna have to have to slow down for. Yeah, there's a 60 here, but that's fine. Seems to be the last speed limit change before we pull into the station. Also, hey, the canary's back. Hold on, game. Oh, but the frame is trying to check itself. Oh, balls. Oh, what? This thing kills on 60 sooner? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to stay outside to try to make the frame a bit better because this place is pretty laggy for some reason. Well,. Here we are. I guess it's time to slow it down and come to a stop. Okay, I just took off the throttle and now it's time to pump the brakes. Yep, just slowing it down. Oh. Well, um, I know that's not my fault. That's definitely the game. Uh, well, uh, we were just about to complete the journey, and I just, that, that just happened. I know that wasn't my fault, okay? Because it even said collision with AI something, so this game, I guess, isn't very good. I mean... This is my first time playing the game, and I thought it would be quite good for this stuff, and to be fair, it is. As long as there aren't other trains crashing. I don't know why there was another train crash, I guess the system it just isn't very good. So, uh, yeah. Oh well. But providing that we would have stopped as is, we would have mastered German trains. I guess maybe Ger other German, I guess maybe we need to replace some of the other German train drivers. Maybe, who knows, maybe I can get a drive a job in Germany. And now that wouldn't work because uh, Germany is a bit of an interesting country. But, and um, I know a lot more about the island of Seoul was. So what, they might just get a job for our train driving on the island of Seoul was. That's if I get the job. I'm not too sure, but hey, at least I got some nice practice today. We didn't do so well with the start because I needed to figure out the game, but in the end, I was able to figure out this game, and eventually, we mastered all three different kinds of trains for three different countries. 
And I call that a success. Mr. Bubbles. Frony, um, how did you escape? Lots of determination and thinking. Now what have you done on my computer? I only wanted to play train simulators on hard drive trains after you wouldn't let me. Yeah, well I told you not to if what you did, I'm going to take you to top gear jet. No! No! Ah!